This is the future. Before we begin this video, I would like to thank all the people who have commented on my recent farming videos about Angels of Zaramon. It had helped me create this one-stop video, for you guys to farm everything needed to progress in this new update. I'm talking about farming every void plumes in the game in one mission, and also resources needed to progress in the whole fast standings, and even get those new evolving weapons, and things needed in your dormir zones. This is probably the best farming method right now for me, especially in solo plays, and here are the stuff you need. First of all, the best mission to farm almost all the stuff you need in Angels of Zaraman is the exterminate mission called Halako Perimeter. You don't need to go into the bounty mission version, and just go ahead to the Zaraman navigation and select the mission. Like everyone said in my previous video, it seems like Digital Extremes fixed the Void Plume Crest drop rate, and they added one guaranteed Void Plume Crest in every mission, including the normal variant of the Halako Perimeter. All you need to do is find it within the map. Also, you should know that there will be 8 Void Plumes in one mission, and one of them will be guaranteed Void Plume Crest while the other ones will be random like Void Plume Vein, Void Plume Down, and Void Plume Quills. In terms of Void Plume Pinion, you can also farm them in this mission since this also has one guaranteed dormant Void Angel statue. All you need to do is search for it and I will tell you how to easily locate it later. So far, this is the only mission I can recommend to all of you, especially if you are running solo. But it would be much faster if you go with a team though, cutting the time completion and the amount of time to find all the loots in this mission. In my case, I can finish the mission and find all the loot in about 8 to 11 minutes. But this time can be less than if you are with a team. This means that every time I do this mission, I have one guaranteed void pinion, one guaranteed void plume crest, and a whole lot of other void plumes plus other resources needed to progress in the hold fast standings and more. In terms of loadout, I'm using the Broken Warframe for crate breaking. So far, I think those players who commented in my recent video are correct that the Broken Warframe is better than Limbo in terms of breaking crates so you can find all those void plumes fast. In terms of dealing with enemies, I just carpet bomb them my Kuva Brahma. Enemies in here will be just level 50 to 55, and you can easily kill them with this Kuva Brahma build. Now, Subsuming silence in the broken warframe is not necessary, and having just Xata's Whisper is enough to kill those Eximus units. However, silence does help, in terms of stopping those Eximus units from casting any of their abilities, making their mission smooth as butter. Now, I also included the Glaive Prime in my loadout to deal with the dormant Void Angels but, as it trips these enemies with a heavy attack throw build. However, it's really not necessary since it's only a low level dormant void angel so, the Kuva Brahma would be enough to melt the health of the dormant void angel. Just a quick tip, I am also using the Anuru focus for this run so I can take advantage of the poise passive, which negates knockdown from the Kuva Brahma, and also strip all armor of the dormant void angel making the fight a lot easier. In terms of amps against the ethereal void angel, I'm using the Clamorer, Proper and Certus Amp. However, I think it's better to use the Raplic Prism for the long range attack in your amp. With Anira Focus, even with the new Eternal Eradicate Arcane that boosts the damage of your amp, still, I can't escape that orb phase wherein you need to destroy a couple of orbs orbiting the Ethereal Void Angel to damage it again. There will be a time wherein the Angel will teleport to a location wherein the Clamor Amp can't reach it so, it's better to use the Raplic Prism, Proper Scaffold, and Certus Brace for faster runs. If you are running low in ammunition since you spam the Brahma attacks all the time, then you can use the carrier with the Immo case mod. And also, don't forget the Animal Instinct mod or its prime variants to give more loot radar to your loadout. So, this is how it works. First, just finish exterminating all enemies in the mission, carpet bomb them with the Kuva Brahma and once you are done, just teleport back to the start of the mission by using that teleportation orb. After that, it's time to break crates with the Broken Warframe's 4th ability and find some Void Plumes on the map. The idea is simple, all those crates that are not broken with Xaku's 4th ability will be possible Void Plume loot. Now, let's talk about those Dormant Void Angel statues. As I have said, there is one guaranteed Dormant Void Angel statue in the Halako Perimeter Exterminate mission. All you need to do is find them. 
The only problem is, that the statue is sometimes hard to find since they blend in with the map. They are usually found in open areas on the map and, here are a few of the areas of Halako Perimeter wherein you can find them. I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future.